In this section, I'm going to be introducing improper integration. Now, to be clear, if you have not yet met integration as a topic, then this is not where you start, okay? You need to go back to the A-level math section and work your way through that first. Now, um, at least up to the first year content. So this is additional to that. This is the next kind of stuff to look at. Now, on that note, uh, some of you may be learning uh, improper integrals alongside, so in your first year of A-level further maths, potentially, um, or it's just something that you are interested in looking at as an additional. Uh, consequently for that, um, what I've done is I've split up this section into the first bit is going to be on uh, using first year integration techniques. Um, and then the second half we'll be looking at second year integration techniques. So in the first half we're not going to be seeing uh, reversing chain rule, uh, integration by substitution, integration by parts, anything like that, or integration of uh, the trig functions or anything like that. So we'll just be looking at basic integrals to start off with and then we'll do all that fun stuff in the second half. Okay. So first of all what is an improper integral? Now, what you've been dealing with up to this point in integration are proper integrals. So, these are integrals like, for example, so a first year student will have met something like x squared integrated between 1 and 2, for example. Okay, so 1 over x squared, something like that integrated between 1 and 2 and finding that area there all is perfectly fine okay um, there are no problems with the function between 1 or 2 or at 1 and 2 uh, so it can be evaluated very nicely okay second year students will have met things like uh, integrating cosine x for example, uh, let's say between um, 0 and uh, pi over 2. So cosine curve, something like that. There's your pi over 2. And working out that area there. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Cosine is well defined between 0 and pi over 2. There are no problems there. And it is a nice, um, uh, well defined area. Okay. There's no problems with that. A finite area. Now, as for improper integrals then, um, improper integrals uh, really fall into two caps. The first type looks at integrals where you're actually integrating um, up to infinity, either positive infinity or down to negative infinity, or both. So, for example, um, you could have the integral of 1 over x squared dx between 1 and positive infinity. This is an example of an improper integral where we have infinity in one of the limits. Now, visually, 1 over x squared looks like this. And there's 1. And we'll be working out this area here. Now, intuitively, you might be thinking, well, that area must go because the curve goes on and on forever. The x-axis goes on forever and ever and ever. We seem to be adding up um, amounts, adding, keep on adding on amounts onto it forever and ever and ever. So shouldn't it be infinity? Okay. And what we will find is that some of these integrals of this form, yes, uh, they do diverge, and we would be calling them divergent um, or uh, undefined or not defined, okay, different, um, some people will say it in different ways, but some of them we will actually find do actually give us a finite area. 
Those of you who have done sequences and series and the summing to infinity will have found that you can add up an infinite number of things and get a finite value. For example, 1 plus a half plus a quarter plus an eighth plus a sixteenth plus a thirty second and so on and so on and so on. That's actually equal to 2. Okay, so it can actually happen, and we will find that with integration. Uh, another example uh, for uh, second year students to consider would be something like this. So integrating 1 over x squared plus 1 between minus infinity and infinity. Uh, I think that one actually turns out to be pi if memory serves. Okay, so you will find that you can integrate down to negative, inf negative infinity and up to positive infinity in the same integral. Okay, examples of improper integrals. Now, that's one type. Another type is when you actually have a problem with substituting one of those values either on the limits or between the limits into the function and it makes that function undefined. So examples of that would be something like the integral between 0 and 1 of um, let's say well we could have the 1 over x squared okay so integrating 1 over x squared between 0 and 1 uh, that will be a problem because the curve in question is undefined when x is 0 at one of the limits. And so that makes it an improper integral. You could also have um, integrating, you know, that doesn't have to be 0. That could be minus 1, for example. So from minus 1 to 1, where the problem value x is 0 is actually lying somewhere between the limits. Another example would be something like, um, so for second years, uh, x log x uh, between 0 and 1. So this is an integral that you can do by parts, um, but when x is 0, log of 0 is undefined. Okay, so this is also an improper integral. So you will find that improper integrals fall into these two camps, and we will be learning uh, ways of how we deal with that and how we show our working to evaluate these integrals, some of which, as we will see, will converge and others will diverge.